If you're a responsible pet owner, then you already know that releasing your pet in the wild is a bad and unethical idea. But there are many people who believe that an exotic animal would have a better life if it's released into the wild because they consider a house as a type of a prison for a pet. Well, that's not the case for a lot of them. Let's see what the top 10 pets are you should never release into the wild and the reasons why. Number one is snakes. Even though you might think if a snake is released to the wild, it would be dangerous for humans, the reality is the snake itself would be in danger. Exotic snakes are not able to survive cold weather, but don't think that releasing them in the summer is any better. Humans tend to get scared by snakes, and they usually end up killing them if they seem near to their house. Plus, a thing you should always consider is that snakes need food to survive, and if your neighbors have any small animals, then they might be the snake's next meal. So please think carefully before purchasing one. And if you already have one that you need to give away, finding a new pet owner for it is the best solution. Number two is parrots. If you've ever lived with a parrot, then you know these beautiful birds are not only noisy, but very demanding as well. A lot of new owners don't know that. And they find themselves annoyed by their parrot, and they release them, thinking this would be good for them also. But it's absolutely not. Parrots are bred in captivity and know nothing of how to survive in the wild. The main two reasons that parrots cannot survive in the wild is extreme weather phenomena, or they just simply starve to death because they have not developed any survival skills. Number three is mice and rats. You might think with so many mice in the world, releasing one to the wild is a great idea because it'll find its own kind and live happily ever after. But that's far from the truth. Rats and mice are bred and live in captivity until you buy them and have absolutely no genetic traits that are crucial to their survival on the outside. They become easy prey to a predator. And one of the reasons is they are usually white, which makes them very easy to spot, and they also have poor vision. So that's an extra reason they're definitely not well equipped for survival in the great outdoors. Number four is aquarium fish. You'll be surprised how many people release aquarium fish into the wild, into a pond, a stream, or a lake. It's not only catastrophic for the fish themselves, but also for the native populations that live where the fish are released. They usually cause outbreaks of disease and disrupt the natural balance. So by letting your fish go wild, you actually send them on a suicide mission to extinguish big parts of the stream or a pond population. People usually release either koi fish or goldfish, and with the goldfish, we've seen some of them go out of control. For example, somebody caught a goldfish that had grown to 15 kilos. This happens because they can eat non-stop, which causes them to grow out of proportion, thus being a true danger to the ecosystem. Number five is ferrets. There's a huge difference between wild ferrets and domesticated ferrets, and they're not to be confused. There's no naturally domesticated ferrets, and if one of them is left in the wild, it's certain it's not going to survive more than a couple of days. Domesticated ferrets are a distant relative of both the European polecat and black-footed ferret, and they're found all over the world with the exception of Antarctica. They need to eat frequently because they have a short metabolism, and because of the domestication, they can eat prepared dry food and not mice or rabbits that they would eat in the wild. Number six is rabbits. Rabbits are cute and they're fluffy and a lot of people love to have them as pets, but domesticated rabbits that are left out in the wild cause a lot of problems. And we say a lot, we mean a lot, literally. The ability these rabbits have to reproduce, it's awe-inspiring. They can go from just a couple to millions in a short span of years. This causes serious problems to vegetation and in some cases it can be catastrophic. So if you have a bunny and you're thinking of setting it free, it would be better to turn them over to an animal shelter or someone who would like to adopt them. Number seven is turtles. A lot of people love turtles because of their calmness and their minimal needs. But a lot of people get tired of having a turtle since it's a lifetime commitment. After all, these slow-moving creatures can be 100 years old, so they could stay in a family for two or three generations. By releasing a turtle, you don't only put them in danger, you put a lot of other species in danger too because they do spread disease easily. And if it goes unnoticed, which is easy to happen out in the wild, things can escalate pretty quickly and in a bad way. Number eight is iguanas. A favorite pet for exotic lovers and teenagers alike, iguanas are impressive and fairly easy to take care of. Some people, though, don't keep in mind that they grow large. 
So when the time comes to buy a new house for them, the idea of letting them out in the wild comes around too. Exactly because they look so exotic, a lot of pet owners think, oh, it would be better if their iguana went back where it belongs, which of course isn't true. Iguanas released in a non-native environment cause huge problems because when they make colonies, they start to prey on the native species of the place, and it does disturb the ecosystem. Number nine is hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are becoming super popular as pets, mainly because of their bizarre looking beautiful shells. The reason the hermit crabs should never be released in the wild is they get bacteria from the tank they live in as pets, which might not be harmful to them, but it would definitely be harmful if they're released in the wild because that bacteria will spread easily to other species that do not have an immune system to support it. Number 10 is tree frogs. Another favorite pet for exotic animal lovers is a Cuban tree frog. These cute little greenish frogs are easy to keep as a pet and do no harm when they're in a house. But once they're released, they can cause huge changes into the ecosystem of a place. They can literally grow out of control and start preying on lizards, small snakes, and many other small animals that are native to the place they're released. Overall, the lesson to be learned from our top 10 today is you shouldn't keep an animal as a pet if you're not going to take care of it for the rest of its life. And if circumstances happen that don't allow you to take care of it anymore, then find another person who could adopt the pet or call your local animal shelter to give you instructions on what to do. But never, ever release them in the wild. Do you know of any other pets that are a danger either to themselves or others when they're released to the wild? Let us know in the comments below.